Good evening. My name is Istok Sila and I'm happy uh, to welcome you at the webinar. I would just like to uh, see if everybody can hear me. Perfect. So, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am very happy to be here with you. Nevertheless, I don't have physical contact with you, so the only feedback would be what you would uh, uh, write to me there on uh, this small part on your probably left side. And uh, really, don't hesitate uh, to uh, do so. And if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts that you think that uh, should be uh, communicated, don't uh, really don't hesitate. Uh, and of course, uh, if you have questions, I will try to answer as understandable as possible. So uh, now it is already your third week, and I believe that you are fully, uh, fully busy uh, in studying and in doing your tasks and everything. Uh, at the end of this week, you will get uh, one as well. But uh, let's go through uh, what we are going to talk uh, or to discuss today. Uh, first, we will start with marketing and marketing communication uh, in this new era, uh, because uh, there are hardly changed things. Uh, but I will explain you uh, what I mean by that. Uh, next, very important thing is real-time marketing. How fastly we are able to react to uh, what is happening on the market and we will see uh, also uh, your task or your assignment uh, would be in, this, uh, in these directions. Then we will talk about concepts, uh, marketing concepts, new era, and uh, we will discuss one of the most uh, famous um, uh, models uh, in marketing, which is still, uh, still very active and still very uh, alive. And at the end, we will talk about new roles, about uh, new professions in marketing. And uh, maybe somebody will tell me that uh, you already, uh, you already uh, do that. So why marketing? Because everything in life, what we do, in fact, is marketing. And it is a basic of a successful business. Uh, why I am uh, talking about that? Because uh, I leave marketing at least uh, my last 31 uh, year as, uh, uh, in fact, the whole of my, uh, of my business career. I started in marketing agencies in ex-Yugoslavia. Uh, and uh, then after 19 years working in uh, marketing agencies, uh, local, international, uh, with a lot of different clients from uh, Slovenian ra railways to Shell, to Gorenje, to um, Vindia from Croatia, to um, Milka, and so on and so on. Uh, more than 150 different clients in uh, different, uh, different companies. Then uh, I was uh, Chief of Marketing uh, in Telecom Slovenia and was also responsible for Macedonia, Albania and uh, Kosovo. Uh, for the brands that we uh, at that time had there. And after that, I moved to Mladinska Kniga, uh, which is the biggest Slovenian uh, publishing house, uh, which means, well, uh, with two million people uh, living in Slovenia, uh, to have every year more than 300 new uh, titles is quite, um, quite interesting. So I was working in marketing all my life, and now I'm a teacher or a lecturer, if you want, and I have my own uh, consulting uh, consulting company that is, of course, uh, in in marketing. Um, there are four important uh, words: uh, manage, profitable, relationship, and customers. Because in marketing, uh, we have, of course, some marketing objectives, and that would be uh, the first one, to acquire new customers with the promise of a better value. So we must have something what our customers don't have. And again, 
uh, we have to manage this relationship with our new customers. But are there just new customers? What do you think? So let's start with being a little bit more uh, interactive. Let's see if you are listening to me. So the question is, are we uh, just interested in new customers? No? Okay. Every customer, uh -huh. not just new, also to current. Yes, of course. You are right. Maintain and strengthen relationship with existing customers uh, is even more uh, important. Why? Because uh, the clients that we already have are less expensive. What does that mean? Uh, if we want to get a new client or a new customer, we have to do something. If we already have one, we just have to be nice. Okay, that can be costly, uh, costly as well. So, in any case, uh, we have to manage these customers, uh, these relationships with customers. In fact, it is the same as in your private life. If you want to have <clears throat> a long-term relationship with your wife or husband, you have to invest a little time, a little, uh, a little um, uh, effort uh, in, into that. Of course, it is very easy to get new customers, easy uh, if uh, we offer them a lot of uh, different uh, benefits and so on, but uh, the quality of marketing relationship is that uh, we, have, um, we have our customers for a longer, a longer time. This is why we are talking about relationship. And, of course, we want our relationship with customers to be profitable so that uh, not just they are satisfied, but we have to be satisfied as well. And this is completely the same as it was before Internet and digital and everything else uh, arose. So marketing is a process. So it is something that it is uh, going on uh, for some time. For instance, Walmart uh, has become the world's largest retailer uh, in um, in physical uh, world, of course, and it it has been uh, for some time the world's uh, largest company, um, and that happened by delivering on its promise: save money, uh, live better. Or, for instance, uh, Disney theme parks um, they make a dream come true today. So, uh, if we want uh, our company to be successful. We have to create some value for customers and build this strong relationship. So we must have something that they don't, and they are prepared to get that, to buy. Uh, that, uh, that means to give us some money for uh, what they are doing. Do you uh, have, since you are coming from different, uh, uh, different uh, countries, can you uh, put down some very good local uh, companies that are really very good in marketing? And uh, maybe uh, what is their promise or if you want a slogan? Skopsko, beer. Ha, what, is their, uh, what is their promise? By the way, Skopsko is really good. I uh, enjoyed it a lot. And everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, especially after the second, the third, or even the 15th class. Any, uh, any other brand? Ah, all beers in Bosnia? Hmm. Are you sure? Ah, of course. Uh, if you uh, promise a refreshment in a hot summer uh, and uh, your beer is really cold, then yeah. Okay. Uh, bes be beside beer, 
Anything else? Theater, why not? Shoot us, dairy products. Probably happiness besides fresh delicious dairy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do they fulfill uh, their, uh, their promise? Are they really... Um, Gürner? Are they really that fresh, that delicious? And uh, Philip Iliev wrote better than HD, better than 3D. So what, uh, which brand would that be? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, this is very important. That you feel that you are happy while buying and... Uh, uh, and uh, using it. Ryanair, low fares, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of uh, cancelled uh, flights. So it is not always simple. But yes, this is their uh, this is uh, their uh, slogan. Uh, Maida is anything always fully what's advertised. Huh. Do you mean uh, that everything is true? No, it is not, unfortunately. And Gürtner, yes, uh, if we would be uh, now in contact, you could, uh, you could sing this jingle. Unfortunately, we are not able to do that. But yes, you know and you feel and you have already had some, um, uh, some experience uh, with uh, your local brands, with your local or international, of course, uh, companies. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, Vitalia, healthy food for healthy life. Yes. Um, marketing process. Uh, so that it is not too boring, I'm showing you, uh, in fact, a very simple, uh, a simple model uh, how to create value for customers and how to build customer relationships. First, of course, uh, we have to know the market and we have uh, to know our customer. And uh, if we know what our customer is seeking for, then we can design um, a good marketing strategy that will fulfill his uh, his needs uh, by constructing uh, some kind of integrated marketing program uh, with, as it is written here, superior value. Why uh, must the value be superior? Because unless we are uh, fighting uh, with price, um, we must give our customer something that he can't get anywhere else. Again, it is the same as in our private life. We need something superior. If we are not satisfied, we will leave. And it is the same with, uh, with marketing process. If we are not satisfied with, uh, let's say, Vitalia or with Ryanair or with... Uh, or with um, shootas or uh, beer, we will change and we will drink, eat or whatever, uh, some, something, uh, something else. And again, once again, we have to build profitable relationships and create this customer delight. If they are happy, they will st stay with us. So we have to create value for customers and then capture this value from customer in, in return. What does that mean? Uh, that the customer is the most important, uh, uh, important thing, uh, the most important element in, uh, in marketing. So we have to know what are their needs, what are their wants, what are their demands. And um, uh, we have to try to offer uh, them not just they want, but maybe even something more. Uh, because in uh, the time of uh, hyper, um, hyper production, uh, in time of hyper commodization, uh, in this very, very strong and e sometimes even evil uh, competition, 
uh, we have to be uh, better than, uh, than anybody else to give the value and to give the satisfaction that um, the customer uh, would, uh, uh, would uh, expect. And of course, we have to know, uh, especially if we are going to export, we have to know what uh, are the markets, how big they are, uh, how they, uh, how they uh, act, and uh, maybe what are um, the uh, importance on, uh, on, those, uh, on those markets. Are there any differences between so-called digital or online and analog or offline business? In fact, hardly. Uh, we have to know the, the client uh, offline and online. We have to know what uh, competition is doing offline and online. We have to give value and we have to give satisfaction to uh, our customers. And, of course, relationship can be offline and can be online. Uh, of course, if we are uh, joining uh, these two, uh, two ways, then it is even better. So we have tied, uh, uh, we have tied uh, our, uh, our customer uh, this way or another. Um, and, of course, uh, if we have him bo on both levels, then he is even more ours than uh, it uh, um, uh, it. B. <clears throat> so needs, wants, and demands. What is what? Uh, <laughs> what is what uh, we are expecting from, or uh, what uh, our customer is expecting from us? Um, the needs, of course, can be physical, can be social, can be individual. And once, in fact, uh, are shaped by culture and individual personality. Um, once are something that is created after uh, after the need, and of course, demand is uh, backed by buying, buying power. Um, demand is uh, happening when we really are aware or are willing to pay for the product or for the service. In fact, there are two sides of customer value and satisfaction expectation. Uh, customers uh, have one uh, angle and marketers, of course, uh, have the, uh, the other um, angle of uh, looking to this, uh, to this problem. Um, the best thing is if uh, whenever we are doing something in business that we try to uh, put ourselves in the shoe of our business partner or if you want of our customer. Uh, let's say Zappos. I believe that uh, mostly you know uh, what uh, Zappos is. This is one of the biggest online retailers and they are specialized in shoe. Uh, shoes. Um, do you know any other um, online retailer? Maybe one from China. Has anybody ever bought anything from Alibaba or Amazon? Or eBay. Yes, you have. And uh, uh, were you satisfied with uh, the service? Yes, you were satisfied. Why were you satisfied? Why? What did they do so special? Ah, they delivered what they have promised. They saved your time. Yes. Anything else? Ah, uh, you saved money. Mm -hmm. Well, um, if you go to the shop uh, and you want uh, a product, 
In fact, uh, you don't expect that you won't get what you uh, what you ordered or the, what, what you bought. But yes, in fact, um, Goras is right. Right. Um, sometimes uh, we are just happy that we uh, received what we uh, what we ordered. Oh, uh huh. Okay, I'm reading what you have. Uh, you have. Uh, uh, written and you pay no customs, okay? Yeah. Uh, about cheap, is uh, this the only reason why we buy things uh, that they are cheap, or do we want uh, quality? Not the only, uh, not the only reason. But yes, uh, with. Um, Online uh, retailers, they were able to make uh, products more available, in fact. And uh, yes, because they are buying uh, big numbers, uh, their products can usually be, uh, be um, cheaper. And if we know the, the, the retailer, like Alibaba or like Amazon or eBay, we are quite sure that um, their service will be, or the product that we order will really be what we uh, what we have ordered. Um, the biggest risk is if we are uh, buying from somebody that nobody knows. But of course, since we are in digital era, then we can. Uh, we can have all the referrals and uh, everything else. Okay. Marketing process, in fact, is a kind of uh, exchange. What is uh, what is exchange? Exchange is a big market, which is. Uh, active all the time and uh, exchange in fact is the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return in the old times um, if uh, you had uh, salt you could uh, get just anything that you wanted um, now if you have a lot of money you can also get almost uh, everything what you uh, what you uh, wanted. And um, as Marina wrote, Airbnb and Booking are the same, uh, in fact, the same um, platforms that can offer you something in return. And of course, you always know what uh, can you expect because uh, there is a big number of uh, uh, previous customers that wrote how they were satisfied. And this is, in fact, the biggest difference in marketing if we are talking about marketing offline and marketing, uh, marketing online, uh, of course, in communication. Huh? <coughs> Sorry. Any business is not uh, standing alone and we are always in a kind of uh, environment that uh, we have to bear and we have to live with. So if we are a company, we always have some kind of uh, suppliers and of course we have some kind of competitors. And uh, sometimes we sell directly to our uh, customers, to our consumers. Uh, more often, we have some kind of uh, marketing intermediaries. Uh, if we have them, uh, then we don't have direct uh, contact with our customers and we don't get all the information that we might, uh, that we might get. But besides uh, suppliers and consumers and uh, intermediaries and so on, uh, of course, there are a, a, a lot of different uh, environmental forces from natural to technical to legal and so on. So uh, we always live in a kind of uh, in a kind of uh, 
messy uh, environment where um, our customer, our buyer, is the most important uh, uh, is the most important uh, element, as we have already uh, said. I'm not going to talk about uh, marketing mix uh, elements because you know that uh, they have to be on the same or at least on similar level so that we can uh, be successful on a long-term basis. Uh, again, it is a process that will take uh, quite some time to, uh, to establish. So uh, in one moment, we must have the right product or the right service that we are selling uh, on the right price um on the right place with right communication and our our processes must be um also on the level that will uh first make our customer happy and uh, would not be too costly uh, would not be too costly for us and people people are important uh, people who are buying from us but especially people who are running uh, these, uh, these processes. And since we are talking about uh, services, of course, a kind of physical evidence is also uh, very important. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. But we have to focus on uh, the communication part. So one of, uh, one of the elements uh, in marketing and uh, uh, that it would not be too, uh, too boring again. This communication is uh, a kind of a lot of different, uh, different things. So the ways how to communicate with, um, with our customers uh, are really a lot. From advertising to sales promotion and uh, personal selling, to all the different, uh, more or less digital uh, or offline or direct uh, or a database marketing or even sponsoring or uh, uh, all the possible social media activities and alternative marketing and uh, PR. And we could uh, talk about events and uh, there is a never ending uh, a never-ending story, uh, story about that. So, if we are talking about successful, that means that uh, as uh, we have already uh, started at the very beginning, uh, we have to manage and try to control uh, this, uh, this communication. But, in these times, is this uh, possible to do, to be on uh, complete uh, control on how um, our brand or our product or our company is communicated? What do you think? No, why? You're right, yes. Just women are uh, writing. Aha, social media? What do you mean by that? Social media are impossible to control. Mm -hmm. Our product can be communicated by lots of other people, probably. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, I will wait for two more students to write something? Crisis management, this is important, yes. I think you have already had the, the PR uh, lectures. Uh-huh, and uh, if uh, something goes viral, it goes beyond control, yes. But uh, then, do we just wait and hope that people would forget, or do we do uh, anything else? We do something, yes. Thank you, Gonast. We update information, yeah, yeah. So, um, as uh, some of your colleagues have already written, it is quite difficult to take control. But of course, um, even if um, users 
are making what they are doing. Um, you know, the user-generated uh, content. Uh, we have to be as active as possible so that us, Fani wrote, uh, build positive uh, reputation or try to build positive reputation. Um, in fact, sometimes uh, it is uh, very visible uh, that uh, who is uh, who is writing uh, some comments or who is trying to uh, damage ourselves. Sometimes even uh, competition is doing uh, is doing that. But then, if we are too uh, pushy. Uh, we as a company, um, of course, our our customers would uh, get that very very easily, and, and here is one very very important uh, word that Marina B wrote, and this is this is honesty. Even if we make a mistake, and in digital era, uh, a lot of mistakes are uh, happening all the time. We have to be very, very honest. Sometimes it is very painful, like at home or with our children, or uh, if we are a student and we have to tell our professor we didn't have time or we didn't do our job or whatever, or to our boss. But if we are honest, people would not be as angry with us as if they would be if we were not, uh, if we were not honest. And your uh, this week's uh, tasks assignment would uh, be just talking about uh, about that. So, communication. We saw all the different ways, and I didn't uh, put them uh, down all of them. Uh, but we can uh, we can see that um, communication is uh, uh, quite. Uh, uh, quite uh, complicated, as we will also see on our next slide. But do you think that uh, uh, there is uh, something missing on this slide? Especially when we are talking about different forms. We can be personal or non-personal communicator, we can be close or uh, on a distance, like we are, unfortunately. Uh, we can communicate uh, massively or individually. Is there anything else that might be missing? What do you think? And I know it is quite late, but... Uh... What is... Uh... Of our one-time communication or constant communication, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. In fact, that could be uh, that could be also one of uh, different forms. Yes. Yes, there is a slide. A feedback would be uh, with customer opinion. Yeah. Feedback. Interactive. Yes. Um, and with or without permission. This is also uh, something that, is, especially in some countries, is uh, more and more uh, important. Um, okay, maybe uh, if uh, Alexander is uh, listening to us, he can uh, tell us what is wrong. Uh, with uh, the presentation, so that you, some of you cannot see it. How ma uh, are there uh, uh, many people who don't? Uh -huh, okay. Huh? Okay. So we have a lot of people who see it. Uh -huh, Alexander had just wrote. Uh, everyone that could not see the presentation, just restart your Skype. Okay, and I will just slowly go uh, go further. And uh, this is recorded so that you can uh, you can watch me uh, later. Uh, 
if you have some problems. Okay, so this marketing communication, which is, as we said, complicated and it is a little bit different than communication at home, uh, is in fact planned. It is ordered and paid and usually mass communication. And uh, with it, company wants to inform or want to persuade or remind consumers more or less directly about the products, uh, the services and the brands that they are selling. So we have, uh, we have four elements that we have to, uh, to, to, to get. So a client or an advertiser uh, who is, um, uh, who wants to tell uh, his story. Then there is an author, uh, a person who has written um, the story. And then it is a speaker. Uh, this speaker can be a human being. Uh, for instance, um, Turkish Airlines, they are using a lot of very famous uh, uh, artists, uh, famous um, um, actors. Um, Milka, for instance, the chocolate, they are using uh, helmets of uh, famous um, European skiers. And of course, there is a medium uh, through uh, which we are selling, uh, telling our story, or if you want, selling our story. Uh, but nevertheless, users uh, that are not controlled by us uh, sometimes take a role, as we have uh, uh, we have um, already discussed. In fact, uh, users are uh, taking our role uh, more and more often. And here is, again, uh, what we, are, we were talking uh, about before. We have to be uh, quick, so fast, and we have to be as honest as, um, as possible. You know also in your private life how difficult uh, is sometimes uh, to communicate that would everybody understand what we uh, wanted to say. For instance, if you have children, you know that uh, it is uh, very difficult to persuade them to go uh, to bed or in the morning to get up because there is a lot of uh, noise, a lot of uh, encoding and decoding going on and um, a lot of mess and uh, the receiver so our child uh, don't uh, want to hear what we are uh, trying to tell and in fact we as an advertiser or as a communicator um, want to persuade or to, to tell our our client our buyer that would be receiver, that our product or our service is uh, really very good. And like in our case, there is some noise going on also with uh, this presentation. So some people can't, uh, can't see it because there is a kind of problem. But nevertheless, <clears throat> in this process, we have a kind of response or a kind of feedback that we can get. But this feedback or response can also be stopped by some noise or some uh, bad uh, uh, communication. And in fact, it is also the same uh, at home. Is If uh, you are married for some time, sometimes you stop uh, communicating. And then after a week, a month or 10 years, for instance, there is a problem because um, you don't know what is happening. You don't know what your wife or your husband is talking uh, is uh, thinking, and uh, maybe he has already left you uh, or she, but you didn't realize that. And the same can be with uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with our clients or with our buyers. So we have to be uh, to be very careful uh, uh, about that. But of course, it is. Uh, uh, we have to uh, we have to be careful uh, because uh, now 
especially in times of uh, interactive interactivity. Oh, thank you. Uh, so uh, you will also be careful at home. Yes, uh, I'm a little bit older, so I can give uh, this kind of advice as well. Okay, uh, back to reality. Um, there was a, a time during the Second uh, World War, uh, uh, and it was uh, called Blitzkrieg. Uh, that means a, a surprise, very quick, very fast uh, entrance to other, uh, to other countries. So we can be successful if we are very quick, if we are the first on the market. Uh, but if we are, uh, if we have been attacked, um, there is also a way how to be successful. We have to answer as quick as possible, as fast as possible, so that um, our competitors are not taking uh, too too big chunk of uh, of our market, uh, and the speed of our reaction, of course, depends uh, on the organization. And we uh, uh, we um, speak about about real time uh, marketing. That means that we are uh, answering immediately now while something is happening that would be in a few minutes, uh, versus a classical media approach uh, when we need some days or uh, some months or some years that we, uh, that we would answer to, uh, to a problem. And this is not uh, just in, uh, in uh, communicating, this is in business, in, uh, uh, in, in reality. Because Competition does not slip, and um, there is a lot of things going on all the time, and um, even an individual can gain uh, enormous power in a moment, and uh, that would also be one uh, one of the cases that we you you will uh, you will um, uh, be doing. And when we are talking about social media, it is very, very important that we know that uh, this is just a tool. And this tool is managed by people, not by companies, by people. And this tool is made for people. So in any case, it is not the company who is communicating, it is the people. But the larger the system is, the biggest, the bigger the company is, the the harder it is uh, to implement it. Why? Because if you are uh, communicating on the social level, then you are uh, mostly communicating as a person, as um, somebody with uh, with a picture and with a, a name and a surname. And this is something, uh, or sometimes, uh, very, very difficult. You have to react. You have to give your head to, um, to a plate so that everybody can, uh, can talk to you. And uh, this, is, uh, this can be quite, uh, quite a responsibility. But of course, it is not just uh, the organization. The organization is important. And um, in your book that uh, I recommend that you try to read real-time marketing, uh, you can see different uh, levels or different cultures of organization. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, for instance, uh, in a classical uh, company, you would wait so that everybody, everything would be, uh, would be certain, or you would uh, work, you would have a lot of checklists uh, that are dictated by a year or five year business plan, or you would measure results quarterly and so on. But in in a modern 
real a real marketing uh, company uh, your people would be empowered so that they can really act and uh, you would not wait for all the bosses to say yes you would uh, do what is necessary to be done because people would be encouraged to make uh, wise decisions quickly and even alone if necessary because again you don't have time to wait um, marketing research is important but sometimes it is just uh, a, a short evaluation of alternatives and choosing the right course um, that it is uh, better than to wait that we get the right results because the results won't tell us what to do uh, they will just help us to make a smaller mistake uh, but sometimes it is better just to go uh, to go to the street and ask five or ten people what they think um, and not just wait to get the 5,000 uh, responses from uh, market uh, market research so, but once again market research is important um, you have heard about beta uh, beta products uh, these are products that are not completely finished because we don't have time to uh, finish them completely uh, which is especially in highly industrialized uh, companies is uh, almost uh, a deadly sin you would not give uh, a product that is not complete or completely produced or completely uh, developed but what are um, especially applications or uh, uh, computer programs uh, they are uh, constantly uh, evolving and con constantly uh, finalized because if we wanted to make uh, let's say a computer uh, program perfect then we would maybe still wait for um, a Windows 1 or Windows uh, 2.0 but now we know that it is Windows 10 and it is still every uh, a week or every two weeks you get some kind of uh, uh, modernization and so on and so on but when we are talking about uh, communication it is um, helping media with uh, giving them input when they need it not when uh, when we want to give uh, to give it and if we want to uh, be a real uh, real-time marketer of course um, there are a lot of uh, professions and there are a lot of jobs that uh, you even can't study for and uh, especially in times when I was studying there were no head of futures or chief happiness officers I know personally uh, at least one chief happiness officer he is working for an agency and he is making his clients happy and he is making his uh, uh, his co-workers happy so he has uh, double uh, double uh, uh, double job uh, to do and uh, they are head of omnichannel or app store optimization specialist or search manager or head of media attribution and so on and so on to a 3d printing specialist you can find uh, you can find uh, a complete list of professions uh, in um, uh, a magazine called the drum and uh, you would see that there are at least 20 or even more uh, professions that uh, will have to be uh, will have to be hired in uh, a close uh, close future so I hope that uh, some uh, of you uh, uh, that some of you are um, looking for your next dream job or maybe you already uh, are doing it uh, in any of these uh, of these areas do you have any questions before we go to uh, to your uh, to your assignments because we are getting close to an end of uh, today's webinar ok 
Okay, no question. So I can uh, I can go to your team assignment for this week. There will be two parts of it. Uh, the first would be analysis of the United Airlines communication fiasco, and the second would be uh, to find or to analyze differences between selected means of communication and the case is soda, uh, soda stream. Um, maybe you would say, oh, this is an old case. Yes, in fact, it is a 10-year-old case, but uh, it tells the story uh, of uh, real marketing communication activities um, really perfectly. In fact, you will have to read the case. In the book, it is about, uh, I think, 10 pages, and it is interesting. Uh, to read and then you have a lot of uh, online sources and then you will have to uh, answer the following questions what went wrong at the united airlines what didn't they do and they sh really should do uh, why do you think they reacted the way uh, they reacted when did they start to change their behavior and why did they start to change their behavior? Was that um, a good way to do? Was that um, hmm, helping the customer or not? And then there are two, uh, two companies that uh, reacted uh, in this case. Okay, I will not tell you how, but uh, two companies. One was the Taylor Guitars and the second was the Carlton Cases. Carlton Cases uh, was the company that produced uh, uh, cases for guitars, especially if you were traveling with uh, uh, by plane. So, also uh, write down why were they able to react this way, the way they reacted, or maybe you won't see any difference. And uh, the last two question, uh, the last two questions about the first part of your uh, of your uh, case. Uh, what is the main difference between uh, United Airlines, not U.S. United Airlines, and Boeing's uh, reaction, and why did that happen? And maybe if you have any similar experience from. Uh, any similar experience from your market or from your industry would also be uh, good. And yes, Martina, you are right. This, this is why I uh, chose this example. Thank you. And uh, if you were a head of client service at United Airlines, considering that you are receiving one hundreds, uh, hundreds of uh, complaints every, every day, how would you perform? Try to put yourselves uh, in their shoes as well. But the second, uh, the second part of this uh, task is a soda stream. Uh, you will have to watch uh, two or three videos, and then you will answer the following questions. So uh, you will have to compare the messages from videos one and two and you will have to tell what was the main difference between these two sources and you will have to explain why do you think that uh, uh, that is a difference and you will also um, tell your opinion about which message is more trustworthy and of course why and uh, the third video from um, Ms. Uh, Johansson, why was uh, her message banned? Whose idea was to do it and why? So, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, thank you very much for being with me. At uh, this point, I can uh, ask you, are you a real-time marketer? And I hope that uh, that you are, and that uh, you will be very successful uh, with uh, uh, with your task and with your study and with your work. And uh, you have my contact if you need uh, if you need anything. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to meet some of you in uh, Istanbul in March next year. And if you don't uh, have any questions, I will just say good night and uh, enjoy yourselves as much as possible. Aha, Danica want, uh, wants to ask something. Good night to everybody, but I will uh, wait. Uh, how long is the final document? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it is... Uh, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it is written how long the, the, the text should be. Please don't go, uh, go beyond uh, too much because I had to read everything. Uh, it is not the limit of words, it is the limit of pages, I believe. Oh, you didn't find that information. Oh, that was uh, my mistake. So, um, for the first part, let's say not longer than four pages, please where the title and the content and the sources, of course, are not a part of, uh, of that. So it is uh, four, and I will also write, I will try to write, uh, to put down the, this, uh, this uh, additional, uh, additional um, information. So it is uh, four, Oh, okay, uh, together with Soda Stream, it would be five pages of content. Okay, five to six. Yes, this kind of. Uh, okay, seven. But not 15, okay? Try to be on six. But sometimes, uh, uh, you know, if it, if, if it is written very interestingly, then um, it's okay. But if you are just uh, writing, uh, then it is a problem. And uh, the leader of the group should be the one who would read everything and then uh, try to make a kind of uh, editing. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, goodbye, good night, and uh, I'm I'm off. If you have any additional questions, you can uh, of course send me an email, and I will try to answer as uh, quickly as possible. Good night.